start off the look by applying Violet Storm Cream Eye Color with the Cream Eye Color Brush all over the inner corner to the middle of the lid, bringing that color all the way up to the eye socket. How pretty is this color you guys? It really can be worn all by itself. Now with the all over eyeshadow brush, we're going to press Sweet Plum Chroma Fusion Eye Color all over the center of the lid. Now on the inner corner of the lid, we're going to apply Sunlit Rose Chroma Fusion Eye Color to meet that sweet plum eyeshadow. Now with the all over eye color brush, we're going to press Merlot, which is a matte chroma fusion eyeshadow, onto the outer third of the eye, and then press that color going up towards the eyebrow, just to give the eye look a little bit of lift coming from the outside of the eye. Then we're going to switch to the crease brush to blend. Holding that brush vertically, going up and down with a light pressure, we're going to sweep over that Merlot color just to blend it out so that the edges are not as harsh. Now we're going to switch the brush to the eyeliner brush and go back to that Violet Storm Cream Eye Color and apply this all over the bottom lid, under your bottom eyelashes. Now wiping off that same eyeliner brush, we're going to apply black gel eyeliner to the inner waterline above the bottom lashes. This will help to give the eye a lot more definition. Do you see the difference between the left and right eye? Now I'm going to place the black gel eyeliner on the top waterline. Now this is kind of advanced, so if you don't feel comfortable applying black gel eyeliner underneath your top lashes, it's perfectly okay. I do it because it just gives fullness to the top lashes. Now, using the business card trick by placing a business card underneath your bottom lashes, I'm going to start applying mascara to the bottom lashes using the tip of my mascara first. That way it will really help to distribute the color and put a lot of product on it. And then I'm going to flip my wand so that it's held horizontally and apply mascara on top of that. Now we're going to apply mascara to the top lashes. Now we're going to apply Wineberry Chroma Fusion Cheek Color to the top of the cheek starting at the apple and working my way to the temple using the cheek color brush. 
Now we're going to outline the lips using dark chocolate lip liner all along the natural lip line. Now I'm going to use a lip brush to soften out that lip line and make the line a little bit wider. I don't want a very thin line because when I smile, you'll be able to really see the harshness of that lip line. So I want to blend that out before applying the lipstick. After that, you're going to apply Berry A La Mode True Dimensions Lipstick all over the lips. And Berry Dazzle Lip Gloss on top of that. And here's a fun trick I like to do just to make my foundation look a little bit more natural and like skin. I take a volumizing brow tint and the eyeliner brush and identify my beauty marks on my face and reapply the dots using that volumizing brow tint. And that's the look you guys. I hope you want to give it a try.